Okay, so now we're going to get to the part where you go, and you're, you're still 19, right? It's 19, yeah. Okay. So the way it works in track and field, especially the first time agents uh, really start talking to a lot of these athletes is after the NCAA meet when they decide whether they're going to go pro or not. But you decided instead of finishing four years of, of university and running, you were going to uh, run for Nike. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Um, it was a very stressful process. So after trials, or not after trials, after um, NCA, I kind of came back home and uh, I kind of talked with through my coaches and stuff like that. And obviously, they wanted me to stay in college just because that's what a college coach wants you to do. And it's not even about the, the money at the time. They're just kind of worried about, you know, are you mature enough at the time? Are you ready to go professional? And they knew that the money was like out there to do it, but they just didn't think that it was just my time to go. So they advised me not to do it, but they still respected my decision to do it. So um, I just kind of, I went with the Global Athletics, Mark Wetmore and his agency, and uh, they, they went through some contracts and I was able to sign with Nike, I think it was about like a week before the trials or something like that. So uh, I was actually, they put me in the world, or the USA Juniors I was supposed to run, but I never ended up running USA Juniors just because I got that contract and I felt like I should run trials because I was in good shape. But um, just things happened and leading up to trials, it really didn't work out. But uh, I, was just, I was happy to get a contract after that. And I would, after trials, that kind of just ended my season for me. Because once you get down like that, it was just kind of, after I got down at Indoor Nationals, it took me two months to build back up. The college season is insanely long. And if you do indoor, it's, you're really at a disadvantage if you're competing against other elite athletes mm -hmm. because the European season starts really kind of late June and it goes until September with World Championships. Yeah. What did you learn from your Olympic trials experience? Um, I feel like at the Olympic trials, that was the first time I had to run and there was three three rounds. So I was like, three rounds, it's going to be crazy. Like I got to like do this this day, do that that day, and do this the next day. But really, I just should have been thinking about that day because when I started thinking about stuff that hasn't happened yet, it just kind of like messed up my mind. I was just thinking, if I do this in this race, I can do this in the next race. And then by the time I get to finals, like, I'll do this in finals. But at the time, I was just kind of, I did it kind of stupid. And I wasn't really thinking about that day race. I was just kind of thinking about the next day race. And I don't know, it just kind of, it, it just didn't really work out because I was worried about the whole scene instead of just that one day. Larry, can we start opening up questions? Sure, sure. Um, anybody have any questions? Young lady in the second row. Did you ever feel like stress or like you wanted to take a break of it all? Yeah. Um, so after after nationals, that was like I, I trained like really hard like those two weeks before nationals. So I was just like I wanted to I didn't even want to do world juniors at the time. So my coach was like, No, you got to do world juniors. Like you're ranked like first, so you got to do world juniors. But um, I feel like I didn't really get it too bad because. I had athletes train with me the entire time with me. And you know, when those athletes are like my best friends and stuff like that. So it made it really easy to go to practice every single day and just like kind of wanted to keep on going and stuff like that. Other questions? Yeah, yeah so you said mindset plays really large role in like how you race. So how do you keep a positive mindset? Um, how to keep a positive mindset? I don't know. Sometimes it's not even like positive, sometimes it's just more motivation. You know what I mean? So like you'll have like a hard workout that like Tuesday and say you do something really good in that workout then you just know like going into your race like I'm in good shape like I can do this like I'm I deserve to be here. So it's kind of just like knowing that you deserve to be there and that you can compete with these guys. Another question? Gentleman's back there. Yeah. Um, how much do you have to like eat in a day for all like the calories? That you That's a good question because I feel like just this past month I've been eating like a ton. And I don't know if I'm going to start growing like tall or if I'm going to start getting wider because I just eat like all the time. So I, like, I, but I don't eat bad, but I eat all the time. Like I'll eat like raisin bran cereal and like toast with peanut butter and bananas, but I'll have like 10 of them. So it's not like I'll just eat like one and be done. Like I'll have like four eggs for breakfast with cheese on top and ham and like toast. And I'm sorry, I'm going to get really into it, but I, just, I eat a lot. I eat a lot. Question right here. What's the, uh, what's the Anything over five miles. <laughs> so like a long run, like I just went for a seven mile long run and it was like everything, it was under six minute pace the entire time and that was, that was very, very painful. Uh, gentleman with the beard. <laughs> so as, as you're moving up from say you know, regional, sectional, state, or national, you're going to the college scene, and 
how does it change each time that you're you're looking at your competitors? Does it does it feel the same just at a, a larger scale, or is there something that changes as you're moving up those those ranks? Um, it, it definitely changes. I feel like you have to be more sharp. So like, say I was like at a conference race, like I really wouldn't like go out too hard or something like that. But like each race, I just knew it got more and more important. So I just kind of like do like better stuff. Like I get better night's sleep. Like I get better workouts in that week just to keep me sharp, kind of. Um, the day when I have a race, I probably, I simply stick to simple stuff, so I'll have like oatmeal and like toast and bananas, just like simple foods, like I won't, you won't ever really catch me eating like chicken fingers or just like a, a greasy burger or something like that, like maybe I'll have it like the Sunday after a race, but like, if it's like a hard training week, I'll, I'll usually like relatively healthy. How do you like mentally break down the 800? Like, like what's your like general like race strategy? Like, how do you how do you deal with the pre-race like knowing that you're going to be in pain for you know? A little it, it's definitely that. It's definitely got to prepare for pain. Uh, so what I always do, I just know like it's going to be painful. But just think about like if you don't run hard, it's going to be more painful. If you don't like say like yeah, like, it's still painful. Like he said, like a slow race can still be very very painful. But it's also going to be really mentally painful if you don't run fast. So I just figure like. You just gotta say screw it and just like run hard, like I don't know. And once that gun goes off, it's just like it's gonna hurt either way. So I might as well just get it done as quick as possible. Question in the back. Split shorts or speed shorts? Yeah. What's that? <laughs> the shorts that have like the splits on the sides, or do you wear a speed suit when you race? Or? I wear um tights, half tights. Okay. Yeah. You wear half tights. So. Okay. So neither. That's the answer. Is that, what is it? What, what are just, are they're like real short shorts. And yeah. They're super Ooh, short shorts. Not super short. Short. <laughs> no, definitely, definitely half tights. Yeah. That was a big thing in the 70s. Yeah. Half yeah. yeah. here. Yeah. 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 Well, the, a lot of the um, coaches and trainers have the guys wear the speed suits or wear the longer shorts yeah, because no, I try to get away from it, but they warm your muscles up a little bit too. So that's what we run our four by four in is a speed suit. So it's like a unitard. It's <laughs> <laughs>